Typically, my shop is a pretty safe place. It's where I come to relax. A place to stretch my creative muscles. A sanctuary of sorts, where I can escape reality. That was, at least, until Halloween night. The night our creations took on a mind of their own. <laughs> the night of the blockheads. Before this night, I would never have believed my wife would have intended for these creatures to come after me. I mean, the health insurance money can't possibly make her laugh as much as I can, right? But then again, I guess I should have been aware of not only the meticulous way she was building these blockheads, but the evil look in her eye whenever I entered the room. I mistook that look as admiration for her chubby hubby as I rambled on about Greeblies for the thousandth time that day. You know, a woman can only take so much Greebly talk. Hey, little fella. She did a good job on you. Maybe it was the basement project. Maybe when she asked if I could keep it in the corner, and then I went ahead and expanded the project to the entire basement when she was out of town working, maybe that's what did it. Or it could have been the fact that she can't park her car in the garage because I turned it into a workshop. That's always an issue when it snows. I guess I sort of turned the laundry room into a 3D printing room, took over the lower closet to store my Star Wars toys, made half the study an editing room, never fixed the microwave, and I haven't fished the molding in about five years. Yep, I can see why this happened now. the greebly worm what are you what are you doing hey dinner's almost ready come on don't ruin those blockheads please all right So take my advice, makers. If your spouse decides to build cute little Halloween blockheads, at least fix the dang microwave. It might save your life. Practice. <laughs>
Do it again, scared.